managed to finish the door and uh, repolish the rear quarter. I've got all the door is now to my satisfactory and um, I've flatted this part of the wing and been started polishing that and there's some flatting here that I haven't started yet but uh, it's all starting to look very very nice as you can see coming along a treat and nearly at the finish post got quite a bit of flatting to do on this front wing if I want to get it um, as good as the rest but we're nearly there and it's looking good be back with more we'd have a look once I finish this side and I've now completed I've just got inside the door to do on this uh, on the driver's side so it's all now been wet flatted polished to within an inch of its life say I'm pleased with the outcome would be an understatement been a long journey but the results are worth all the work so tomorrow I'm going to do inside the doors and uh, well the door get that done and then I can start building the car back up really pleased I promised the best job I could do and I think I've delivered right we'll have a full walk around when I've done a bit more but uh, Thanks for all the support watching the videos. Really appreciate it. You know, the fact that anybody watches amazes me, but uh, it is nice. And it does give you more motivation, I suppose. You know, the fact that you think people are watching what you're doing. I mean, I've been doing this for donkey's years, and uh, perhaps I should have started a channel earlier on. Especially when I was doing the uh, restorations, but uh, camera phones wasn't a thing then. <coughs> so there we have it for today. It's Friday afternoon, and I think I'm uh, going to knock off half hour early and come back to it tomorrow. So I'll see you soon. I've just put these side by side. Um, I don't know whether you can actually see, but there is a massive difference between the two lights. Don't really show it up very well with all these lights on, but uh, I can assure you that there is a massive difference. So I'm going to strip the one on the right now and uh, get that polished. 
and they could start refitting everything on Monday. Right, see you later. Well, I've had quite a productive morning. I've done the door jams, the A pillar, and all the surrounding areas on the door. Got them polished up. I've stripped the other headlight and polished that. And I've polished all these ancillary parts that are going back on the lamps. Uh, the indicators I've taken the seals out so I could clean the dirt out behind the seals clean the seals and the headlight bezels uh, I've polished those up as well so they're all ready to go back on um, so I'm gonna finish now for the weekend and I'll be back on Monday well it's Monday morning I'm in the yard and I thought uh, you deserve a, a look round the car before I start building it up um, forgive the place it's a bit messy because I literally finished the polishing and then Saturday I was doing the ancillary parts but uh, this is the finished polishing state See the uh, both the headlights are now polished. They look sweet. I'm going to clean all these rubbers up, take them out, clean them, treat them. Uh, that's going to be my very first job today. I want to put the headlights in and see what it looks like from the front. But everything looks beautiful really pleased and so we're going to build it up and then I'm going to treat all the uh, the plastics rubbers everything's going to um, get sorted out uh, first thing I need to do is touch these in put some paint on I mean it's not down to the metal but it's down to that white it looks white but it's a primer so uh, I'm going to touch these in now so that they're, they're dry when I put the mirrors on got new gaskets for the mirrors new gaskets for the doors um, but everything's got to be cleaned up, all the plastics, all the rubbers, and all treated. Um, of course, once I put the door handles and the mirrors on, I can uh, sort out the door cards, get that done. The seats are coming back this week. The wheels are on the way this morning, and they are spectacular. But um, they've got to be ceramic coated first. But uh, there we are. Not the complete job, but you'll see that in a future episode. So there we have it. I'm pleased with it. I'm sure when the owner arrives today to look at it, I'm uh, pretty sure he's going to like it as well. Because if I'm happy, I'm sure he'll be happy. Right then. Thanks for following this uh, job. I know it's been a big one and uh, probably got fed up of watching it, but you know, to create something that's a very special doesn't take five minutes. Also, I hope that there's been a few tips on the way that have helped some of the budding uh, detailers. I know some of them watch. Um, I'm not saying that they should do what I do because everybody has their own methods, techniques, but it might help somebody. 
Right then, I'm going to get on, start work. See you later. Right, I've just cleaned the uh, well out where the uh, petrol cap lives and the washer fluid bottle and we've got a brand new cap to fit on so let's do that together because I'm sure I can do it one-handed you said and I'll put it on upside down turn it the right way round and Clip it on, he said. My God, that was harder one-handed than I thought. Right, so we've got the new cap. I'm now going to screw the cover back in and put the cap on. And uh, should look lovely. It's all these little things that uh, finish the job. So I've got to use both hands now to screw that on and I'll show you with the cover on. I'll see you in a minute. And here we are, all screwed back together and sitting nicely. And that's all back in its own house. Now I've got the headlights back on the car. I've had to uh, strip them again this morning because I hadn't got the lens perfectly straight. So took them back apart and uh, cured that problem they look like brand new so it's all starting to look nice got the spare wheeling cleaned all the ancillaries and the pouch and everything else that goes with it and uh, we're moving on there's still a few jobs I've got to do uh, when I put the car up in the air a little bit um, there's uh, a couple of jobs that I've uh, not done underneath. I've got a polish underneath the uh, splitters and uh, the bottom of the sills that I can't get the polisher under. So I've still got a bit to do, but it's all starting to look nice. Right, I'll see you a little bit later.